But we start with an update from the Elizabeth River and its sad news. The whale that has found its way into the area has died. This view from Chopper 10 showed the marine life struggle in Chesapeake after the mammal stranded itself on a sandbar near the Gilmerton Bridge. Biologists with NOAA hope the mere sound from the chopper would make a difference and somehow the animal would free itself. Then, this morning, then in your side's Aaron Kelly got word the whale was in Portsmouth Julian's Creek. Yeah, someone out here around 10 this morning spotted it where it's not supposed to be. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see what's going on behind me here. We've got three boats out here. Uh, two of them have lines off their sterns here tied to the whale with some buoys. They're hoping to tow it out of here and uh, bring it to Craney Island where someone will do an examination. A team will examine the whale to try to figure out how it died. The gentle giant lay motionless on the shore of St. Julian's Creek Thursday. For a week, what's believed to be a 40-foot say whale had traveled the James and Elizabeth Rivers. It was out of place. Got lost. I don't think a whale should be in shallow water like this. Wednesday night, Chopper 10 showed the whale stuck on a sandbar near the Gimleton Bridge, but by the morning, the whale had moved on. Ed Rule noticed it when picking up his crab pots. I just come out of the creek, and the whale was stranded up, beached up, on the St. Julian's Annex side of the creek here. The Virginia Aquarium Stranding Response Team had been checking on the mammal every day and noticed it was thin and disoriented. The team members confirmed Thursday afternoon it had died. Hopefully somebody can come in and move it out somehow. After taking blood and blubber samples, the team worked to begin to tow it to Craney Island. There they hoped to learn more about the whale and how it died. And the stranding response team said that this whale never appeared to be injured or entangled in anything. It could weigh tens of thousands of pounds. A NOAA certified uh, team from UNC Wilmington will be conducting the examination to determine uh, hopefully how this whale died. And that could take all of tomorrow. For now, we're live in Portsmouth. Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side.